This is Saf from Super Saf TV and you're watching Beginners Tech and this is why you do not film in portrait. Got it? What is up YouTube? It's your favourite Scotsman Ryan here and today we are going to review the 2015 Moto G or third generation if you prefer to call it that. The Moto G has always been a solid performing budget device but one thing that annoyed me about last year's version was how slippery the device was and how many fingerprints showed up on my backplate. Well this year Motorola have definitely upped the game again and although the design is pretty much identical, Motorola have made a few changes like the awesome textured plastic backplate which I love the feel of and also the new metal strip where the camera sensor is. As I mentioned in my unboxing video, the back cover and metal strip are customizable via Motomaker so you have plenty of choices and it's great to see this option on a budget device. Overall it feels super comfortable to hold and its overall form factor makes one handed use a breeze and perfect for anyone with small hands. The layout is pretty much identical as well with the 3.5mm headphone jack and noise cancelling microphone up top and on the bottom you will find the micro USB port for charging. On the right hand side you will find the volume buttons and that awesome textured power button and on the front up top you will find the earpiece, sensors and a 5 megapixel selfie camera and along the bottom your microphone and single speaker which does sound better than last year's ever so slightly as long as you don't crank it up too high or it will start to distort. The display is the same 5 inch 720p panel we saw last year and I must say it looks pretty good. I could easily watch content on it with no issues but the colours just don't pop at all and are pretty undersaturated. The viewing angles aren't the greatest either for an IPS display but for a device in this price bracket you can hardly complain and it is definitely usable. The back cover on the Moto G is removable and taking it off reveals the SIM and micro SD card slot but take care when you are putting this back on and make sure you do it properly or the IPX7 rating will be useless. Also be sure to check out my water test video to see how waterproof the Moto G really is. When it comes to the camera we have huge improvements with a 13 megapixel sensor with f2.0 aperture and also a dual tone LED flash and this is the same camera we saw on the flagship Nexus 6 last year. Launching the camera involves a simple twist of the wrist and you are good to go but is it any good? Well first of all you will have to use the manual exposure or your shots will be overexposed to hell but when you're in good light this camera has a decent dynamic range, decent colour reproduction and to be honest I was very impressed with the shots I managed to get. In low light however as you would expect the images start to fall apart and the noise starts to creep in. Let me know what you think of the images down below and whether you are happy with what you are getting for this price range. The 5 megapixel front facing camera of course is just fine for any of those who love the selfies. The video quality is also pretty decent and the Moto G records at 1080p but you need to remember that there is no image stabilisation but it is certainly good enough for a budget device. Software wise we are running a near stock version of Android Lollipop with some minor tweaks. Although this packs a lower end Snapdragon 410, the experience is smooth and fast. Remember I have the 2GB variant but I can honestly say performance wise this keeps up with many higher end devices. I could easily play my favourite games on the device and only playing really demanding games did I notice any lag at all but in all honesty even at that point it was still playable. When it comes to battery life the Moto G is in beast mode and you can easily get 2 days out of this device on a single charge. Some days I was achieving over 7 hours of screen on time so you definitely have no worries when it comes to this. So that pretty much rounds up my review of the 2015 Moto G or third generation whichever you prefer to call it and I am very impressed with what Motorola have to offer this year with this budget device. What I will say is that there are a few compromises but for this price range you cannot go wrong. There are a few features that I did miss out in the review 
and that was only due to the fact that I covered them in my unboxing and first impressions video and I have left that and my water test video linked down below so definitely check them out if you get a chance. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank Clove Technology for making this review possible and if you are looking for any unlocked handsets like the Moto G then definitely check them out, I've left a link down below as they also ship worldwide. As always guys, thank you so much for tuning in. If you liked the video then definitely leave a thumbs up as it really helps the channel and as always, stay safe, be kind to each other. Peace! Team Purple baby.